Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to look at how we can create this stamina system. As you can see, when I hold left shift, I'm able to run and the stamina starts decreasing. Then when I release the button, it recharges and when I hold it again, I'm able to run. When the stamina runs out, I'm not able to run anymore. So let's jump right in and see how we can set this up. There are a lot of ways that we can implement this system, but uh, in this video, I'm using the easiest method possible. As you can see, this is all we have here. We only need one variable and using a timeline, we are able to set this float and then using a widget blueprint, we can add it to the viewport. So I'm going to delete these all and start from scratch to show you guys how it's done. In this project, I'm going to set this system up for my first person character, but uh, you can use the same method for the third person character and it doesn't make any difference. Here I want to use the enhanced input system to be able to give input to my first person character. So go to the first person folder and in the inputs, create an input action. Name it run. And then here in this IMC default, add a mapping and then select the key you made. Now let's sign left shift and that's it. Now we are able to use left shift as an event in our first person character. Here just right click and search for run and here it is. Now what we want to do is to change the max walk speed when we hold this key. So here just drag in your character movement and search for set max walk speed. The default value is 600 so let's set it on 1200. We want to enable this by holding the key so let's connect it to the started output and by releasing it we want to go back to 600 so copy this again and then set it back on 600. Also plug in the character movements uh, to the target and that's it. This is how we can uh, enable the running for a first person character. As you can see when I hold left shift I'm able to run and when I release it I go back to the walking state. Alright now in order to control our uh, running using a stamina bar we need to create a variable here. Just uh, create a variable and name it stamina and then change it to float. Here the default value is on 0, so let's set it on 100 and compile. Alright, now what we want to do is to control this float using a timeline. So right click and search for timeline and add it to the event graph. Then open it up and here create a float track. I want to go from 100 to 0 in 4 seconds, so set this length on 4. And then add a key here and set the time on 0 and the value on 100. Then add another key and set this uh, on 4 and 0. Hit these icons here to frame it properly and now you can see that uh, we are going from 100 to 0 in 4 seconds. Now we are able to use this track to control this stamina. So just drag it into the event graph, hit set, and set this based on the timeline. Also, let's connect this to the timeline and then print the value on our screen to be able to see what's happening here. Now you can see that when I hold left shift, it goes from 100 to 0 
and when I release it, it goes back to 100. But the thing here is that uh, when it reaches zero, I'm still able to run, which is uh, not desirable. We actually want it to stop when the stamina uh, is empty. So here we need to check that if our uh, stamina is zero, we need to set this back on 600. So here just uh, get your stamina and then here hit equal. We want to check if it's equal to zero and if it is we want to uh, set the max walk speed on 600 again so just copy this here and connect it to the true output also connect this character movement to the target and that's it Now just uh, let's put this print after everything and connect this to our flow. Here let's get our stamina and connect it to the print string and then connect this to our uh, other nodes. Okay, now we can see that when my stamina is on zero, it will stop and I'm not able to run anymore. But when I release it and it gets recharged, I'm able to run again. Yeah, it's working perfectly. And now all we need to do here is to just uh, connect this stamina to a widget blueprint and connect it to a, a progress bar. So here, go to your content browser and create a widget blueprint. Let's uh, name it stamina and open it up. Here, drag a canvas and then we need a progress bar as well. So drag this again here and scale it up. Let's uh, anchor it to the middle of the screen and uh, adjust its position. So first I'm going to zero this out and then set the alignment on zero. So it's based on the middle of the bar and then I can just uh, place it wherever I want. Let's also make it a little bigger and that's it. This is the percentage and we want to connect this to the float that we made in our first person character. So here hit bind and then here we are going to create a binding. So just uh, cast to the first person character. And then uh, get this time in a float. Then connect this and that's it. Also here we need a get player character node and then we are able to use it properly. Here we actually uh, forgot something and that's uh, we need to divide this value by 100. This is because the percentage is a number between 0 and 1 but our stamina is between 0 and 100 so this way by dividing it uh, it's actually give us a proper number that can be used uh, in this progress bar now in order to draw this on our uh, screen we just need to go to the first person character and here after the event begin play node we just need to add the create widget function and then add it to the viewport. Connect the return value to the target and then select the widget blueprint we made. Compile and play and now you can see that we have this progress bar on our screen and it's working perfectly. 
let's also delete this uh, print string function and we are good to go here i'm able to run but when my stamina runs out i'm not able to run anymore and i need to wait for it to recharge yeah that's it guys and this is how we are able to create this stamina system for a first person or third person character thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel catch you later